Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today's topic is organ on a chip devices. Basically, organ on a chips are tiny devices, usually smaller than a palm of a hand, that uses microfluidic technology to create micro channels and chambers at the micron scale size for cell culturing in a micro environment that is similar to that of the cell's natural habitat. These microfluidic devices are sealed and sterile and made up of optically transparent material that allows visual and real-time monitoring of analysis of the cells. So these devices are made up of biocompatible polymer material that are of a modular in nature. So the modularity of the chip allows multiple modules such as sensors and actuators to be connected to the main microfluidic chip for analysis or manipulation of the cells. So these devices uh, has advantages over the conventional cell culture method such as petri dishes and flasks or 3D cell culture techniques. So why uh, this organ on a chip important? So we all know that uh, to develop or a, to introduce a new medical treatment, uh, we need to follow certain safety guidelines and procedures. So uh, it requires uh, multiple steps of preclinical and clinical test to validate the applicability of a new medicine. So each of the steps in the drug development pipeline has the potential to fail. So this leads to pharmaceutical companies with significant financial losses. So if a, a new compound get failed, then the higher the cost of the failure. So the new technology uh, can be a great help to access the functionality of new medicine before taking it to the clinical trial to reduce the cost. So uh, in our organs, uh, like uh, basically uh, the organ of our bodies are of a three dimensional nature and the complex behavior of the cell cannot be modeled in 2D culture such as 96 well plates. Similarly, the animal models are also not ideal for testing human specific medicines. So because of this reason, organ only chips shows a strong potential in drug development uh, in pharmaceutical companies. So uh, how does the organ on a chip work? In principle, an organ on a chip consists of a main microfluidic chamber lined with the human cells connected to a network of micro channels for perfusion and waste withdrawal. So the microfluidic chamber is made up of biocompatible material. Normally, polydimethyloxane or PDMS is used for creating these micro chambers. So this PDMS is the most widely used polymer used in the microfluidics industry due to its superior properties such as simple and standard fabrication method, biocompatibility, optical transparency, non-toxicity, compressibility and the permeability to gases. So the micro chamber can be simple chamber with micron scale dimensions. A broad range of surface patterning or modification can be exploited according to the specification of the experiment. For example, modifi modifying the surface of natural extracellular matrices derived protein can increase the adhesion of the adherent cell to the surfaces. It has been shown that micro or nano patterning the surface can help the cell growth, differentiation and adhesion as well as boost protein expression levels. The microchamber is often connected to multiple side microchannel. These side microfluidic channels can serve multiple purposes. They can be used to deliver nutrients, bacteria, viruses and chemical to the cells or wash the cells and discard the waste. Moreover, they can be employed to manipulate the cells mechanically or electrically. In more sophisticated system, the organ on a chip can include multiple layers of cells to make a more comprehensive model 
or to study cell interactions. These devices related to different organs can connect it to each other for a simultaneous analysis of multiple organs. For example, a heart on a chip can connect it to a liver on a chip through their common vascular channel for cardiovascular testing of a new drug. So the combination of the cell culturing microchamber and assisting microfluidic side channel create a new human environment that are biologically relevant for cell growth, toxicity, testing and personalized medicine. So I hope you guys understand the concept of organ on a chip.